Hello students, in this video we are going to study about practical number 3 data analysis measures of dispersion. So the first video that is the first part is already uploaded in that I have told you what is data analysis, how we can calculate it, what are the what is mode, what is median. We have also seen the formula for a standard deviation and how to find out the range. Now we are going to come across the exercise part which is there in this uh, particular practical. So there are total seven questions which we have to do here. So let us start with the first question. So here is the first question, question number one. Suppose you have surveyed few youngsters in your village or city and they have all migrated to other places these are the distances of their migration and find out the average distance of migration and the standard deviation. So what you have to find, you have to find the average distance and then you have to find the standard of deviation. Okay, so this is the question uh, which is given to you. There are the uh, youths which are given here and this distance they have migrated from one place to another place in kilometers. So it is a very lengthy list which you can see. First of all, we have to calculate the mean. So how to calculate the mean? I've already told all these entities, all these values, you have to total them. Okay, like 9 plus 2 plus 5 plus 4, all of them you're going to total and you're going to divide it with 20. Why 20? Because there are total 20 entities from A to T. Okay, if you calculate A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, H, I, J, K, L, M, and it is going to come till 20. So the number of values is 20. Okay. So the mean is 7. When you are going to divide the total by 20. The mean you are going to get is 7. Now you have to create a second table. To find the standard of deviation. Okay. So the standard of deviation you are going to find in this manner. The first question table. That is youth and distance. You are going to write it as it is. And in the standard of deviation. Uh, you need to find out or to subtract the mean value from the xi value. What is xi 9 and what is the mean which we have calculated 7. So subtract 7 from each and every number. Okay. Here I have written the direct answer. 7 minus 7 0. 8 minus 7 1. 11 minus 7 4. 9 minus 7 2. I have written direct, uh, direct answers here and here I have told you that how I have generated the output. Now after finding those numbers you have to take a square of it. Okay. You just have to take a square of all these numbers. Okay. <clears throat> after finding out the square this is the answer. 2 square 4, 5 square 25, 2 square 4, 3 square 9. So this is how you will find the answer for each and every entity. And finally you are going to take a summation. Summation means what? Total. You are just going to take a total of it that is 178. Now the formula for standard of deviation is what? Square root of the total summation which we have taken upon the number of values. So the total summation which we have taken is 178 and the number of values from A to T are 20. So after dividing and taking a square root you are going to get this as an answer. Okay. So range also you can find. The maximum value in this whole table is 12 and the minimum value is 2. So maximum value minus minimum value is 10. So this is how you can calculate. So the standard deviation is 2.98 and the average distance is 7. Let us come across the second question. Following data shows the percentage of land under residential category in different cities and find the standard of deviation. Now this is a table where you have cities and land under residential use. So there are in total how many cities? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So number of values are 10. To find out the mean what you are going to do? You are going to add all these like 57, 64, 63 till 59. Everything you are going to add and divide it by 10. Okay, so after that you will get the answer as 57. Now, here you can see that the cities, cities column and this column, 
percent of land use that is this is the question as it is you have to write here and now what you are going to do you are just going to subtract the mean from these values okay so the mean also we have got the mean is 57 so this is like 57 minus 57 okay 57 minus 57 is equals to 0 again here you are going to do like 64 minus 57 so what is the answer you got is 7 so this is how you are going to do it okay so again now we are going to do 63 minus 57 so this is how you are going to do the calculations like you are going to subtract x from xi and then you are going to take a square of it 0 square is 0 7 square 49 6 square 36 10 square 100 8 square 64 like that you are going to take a square of each and every number and then you are going to do a total that is a summation summation and total is one and the same that is 542 to calculate the standard deviation you have to take a square root of total summation upon number of values total summation upon number of values that is 10 so the answer which you will get is 7.36 so this is your final answer let us come across the third question use standard deviation for your data collected through app so the data which we have collected in the first practical you can also use it uh, and you can do the standard deviation for that data also now there is one more concept that is coefficient of variance okay to find out coefficient of variance first you have to find the mean then you have to find the standard of deviation and then on the and then and then only you can find the coefficient of variance that is cv okay so the formula of coefficient of variance is what standard deviation upon mean into 100 okay so if your standard deviation is 3.39 and the mean is 100 then how are you going to find the coefficient of variance you are just going to divide 3.39 by 10 and multiply it by 100 then you will get the answer like 33.9 percent i have already told you that more than mean uh, mode median standard of deviation is basically used for data analysis as it gives you a exact result and more precise or more better method is coefficient of variance coefficient of variance expresses the standard of def, uh, deviation as a percentage mean and shows the dispersion in the data in a more efficient way or in a more better way let us come across the next question that is calculate the standard of deviation for the following data here we have a data of wards in a city and we have percentage of people who have been graduated okay so we have in total how much data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the number of values here are 8 okay to find out the mean what you are going to do you are going to add all these values and divide it by the 8 total number of values upon 8 and then this is the answer which you are getting that is the mean now to find the standard deviation what are what is the next step which you are going to do is you are just going to make a table with four columns wards percentage of graduate now you are going to subtract the mean from these values okay what is the mean mean is 6.91 so subtracting uh, 3.4 minus 6.91 will give you a negative value that is minus 3.5 so this is how your values are going to be generated i'll just show you one that is 3.4 minus 6.9 okay so is going to give you the value like minus 3.5 like that you can do 2.3 minus 6.9 is going to give you minus 4.3 take a square of all these numbers and then do a total after taking a square you have to do a total that is called as summation value okay so the formula for standard deviation is what you have to take a square root of the summation value and divide it by 8 8 is what number of values 
so after solving it you will get the answer as 3.11 so this is the answer for fourth one so let us come across the fifth one here also we have to find the standard of deviation you have the names of the village to find the mean you have to total all of them and divide it by 7 because we have 7 7 entries here so the answer you are going to get is 375 okay now what is the range for range what you are going to do you are going to find out the maximum value so maximum value is how much 500 minimum value is how much 200 so maximum value minus minimum that is 500 minus 200 is 300 so this is how you find the range now it is the time to calculate the standard deviation what are you going to do you are going to make the four columns you are going to subtract the mean from all these entities okay after subtracting the mean from these entities you are going to get these answers take a square of all of them and then find out a summation of it okay the formula for standard of deviation is what square root of summation answer upon number of values which will give you the answer 108.32 <clears throat> let us come across the sixth question now this is the data which shows 10 years of data means the number of value is how much 10 okay the data starts from january first date january second date till 10th of january okay so this is how much snow fall was there in that place okay now here you are going to add all these numbers and divide it by 10 so the answer here or the mean which you have got here is 297.8 so this is the mean which you have obtained next is range range means what you have to find the maximum value so the maximum value in the table is 3.40 and minimum value is 279 so the answer for range is 35 so now here to find the standard of deviation you are going to subtract 291 from 297 okay you are going to subtract 291 minus 297.8 is going to give you this answer that is minus 6.8 okay and then you are going to take a square of it okay in the same manner again 290 uh, 299 you are going to subtract with 297.8 you will get 1.2 and then you are going to take a square of it. So this is how you are going to generate a table and then you are going to take a total of it. That is the summation value. What is the formula for standard of deviation? You have just have to take a square root of total divided by number of values. So the answer you will obtain is 10.72. Okay. Now we will proceed further to the last question. So here we have a table here uh, it is a precipitation in Chennai in the month of December. So you can see that 1967 to 1981 we have a data. So to find out the mean we are going to add everything and divide it by 15 because there are total 15 entries. Okay. So the mean is how much? 6. 9.6. So again you have to make like that table. Subtract the mean from each and every value. Okay. So 10. Uh, the xi value is how much? 10. And then you are going to subtract it from mean. Which is going to give you these types of answers. Okay. So after getting these answers, you are just going to... Mean is how much? It is 9.6. Okay. Mean is 9.6. So you will get 0 0.4. So this is how you are going to find out the uh, xi minus x. Take a summation of it. Okay. To find out the standard of deviation again you have to take this summation value here and divide it by 15 and take a square root of it so this is your answer number 7 this is your final answer 1.527 so the whole exercise of practical 3 solution is in this video i hope the doubt is cleared if any doubt arises you can please comment me in the comment section i will reach out soon thank you for watching do subscribe my channel.